Today, we will see common mistakes related to the tools used in geometry. Mistake 1. While drawing the shapes of geometry, students are advised to draw thin lines and mark points lightly. Thicker lines or bigger dots cause confusion and result in wrong measurements. For instance, with the thin line we get the measurement as 11.5 cm, while a thick line and thick points will give us the measurement here 11.7 cm. Due to thick points, the dividers are not placed in the correct position, which gives us the wrong length of the line segment. Mistake 2. Some students don't keep sharpened pencils. Keep in mind, the more the pencil is pointed and sharp, the thinner the line will be and the less likely it is to make mistakes while constructing the shape of geometry. But if the pencil is not pointed enough, then the line will be thick, which will increase the chances of making a mistake while constructing a shape. Mistake 3. Students often use the same pencil for the compass and to draw lines. Keep in mind that if you have two pencils, one pencil will always remain fixed to the compass and the other can be used to draw lines or curves and mark points, which will reduce the wear of the pointed end of the pencil and at the same time, one can overcome the difficulty of placing and removing the pencils in the compass. Mistake 4 Students often try to find the measurement of a line segment by using a ruler without using a divider. But this is wrong because when the eye is not placed just above the symbol, it results in wrong measurement. The pointed ends of the divider can be placed on the line segment and the correct mark of the line. This can help us avoid any mistakes in measurement. Mistake 5 the geometrical instrument compass is an English word which is similar to a magnetic compass. This confuses some students who believe that the compass of a geometry has some relation with the magnetic compass. This is a misconception and there is no relation between them. So today we saw some common mistakes related to the tools used in geometry.